If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement and male advantage ebook, all links are in the bio. Really high fucking standards. And guys, believe me, like I said, I've got, I'm, go, I'm trying to go like two years without women. I'm so horny all the time. Like I'm on my supplements, I'm in the gym, I haven't drank alcohol, I'm sleeping well, I'm lifting heavy weights. My testosterone is up in the thousands, easy. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about a concept which is don't lower your standards for comfort. And this has really come to my mind recently because the life I'm living at the moment, obviously I moved back to this area in Gloucestershire where I grew up because my dad was dying at the time and suddenly he did die as you guys know. And it was, I just wanted to be with him. I ended up being with him for seven months. It was beautiful. Best time I've ever spent with him, or at least like top five times I've spent with him, even though he was ill. It was just nice to talk to him, be around him so much, okay? Um, but now I'm kind of stuck here until the house sells. Like his house is going to sell. I want to deal with everything. There's a few complications. I just want to tick those boxes. And then when COVID's over, you know, as well, so there's two like major fucking problems. Then I will shoot back to... Because I, I paid for the funeral as well, so I get that money back out of the estate. So it'd be nice to obviously get all that money back. COVID's over, you can get back to normal life. I'll probably get back to London, okay? I was at the gym the other day, and um, with the exception of one woman who is like a straight 10, she shouldn't be in this area. She's just far too hot. She should be in like LA or London or something. I, I have no idea. It's just like she's lost or whatever. I, I have no idea. But with the exception of her, Every other woman in like my gym is like a five, six or a seven, right? Um, and that's just the nature of this area. It's always been like that when I was growing up, whatever. You don't get stunners. You just get, yeah, she's all right. She's nice. And I've obviously improved. I've come back a different man. I've obviously got like more money and stuff like that now. I'm in a much better scenario than I was when I first used to live here. Naturally, without bragging, you get a lot of female attention, okay? And... I've got to be honest, guys, I told you when I broke up with my ex-girlfriend when we went through our breakup, I'm not going to entertain women properly for like two years. It was like 28 to 30. I was like, I really want to dedicate, hammer this nail in now and achieve the goals I want to achieve. And then I'll start living life a lot more at 30. You've got these girls that are like sixes and sevens, which are attractive. You know, they're kind of like gym sevens okay so they've got the body as well where you're like okay this girl's pretty attractive i see myself with nines and tens that's where i've always seen myself and that's the limit that's like kind of my bottom limit would be like a very nice and intelligent eight like a an accomplished eight like that would probably be like my limit because that's just the standards i hold for myself you might disagree i would agree with you i'm not the best looking guy in the world okay um but that's just the standards I hold to myself and that's, you know, the levels that I like to be at. That's where I enjoy myself being at and it just feels nice, okay? And I'm in this gym at the moment and like I said, I'm, I've decided to go without women for like extended period of time. I've done this multiple times in my life. Now I've said in videos before, if it's on a plate, I'll take it. Yeah, potentially, I don't know. I'm kind of staying away from that right now because I'm so dedicated to what I'm doing. I just see all my goals being that close. So I'm like, let's just kick it on. No distractions. Um, because I'll tell you where I learned this. I was in Bristol on a night out. I, I told a few guys this story before in a few old videos. And I was about to go to Toronto, I think, uh, or London. I can't remember which one, but I had like bigger plans. I think it was London. I had like bigger plans to do like bigger things in life. And there was this girl at this house party and she was like a straight, she's approaching a nine. She was like an 8.8, .8, nine, whatever. She was beautiful. Like probably the best type of woman that I could ever get at that point. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, probably like an eight, because at that time, that's probably like the best woman I could get. But like dark brown eyes, just dark brown hair, whatever. I actually prefer black women, but she was like white and you know that like model look that some white girls have, you know, like the Justin Bieber's misses, but with like brown hair, like that kind of vibe. And um, she kept looking at me and she, like trying to talk to me and whatever. And my friend was like, why are you just like icing her? Why don't you go and talk to her? I was like, because that's a dangerous woman for me right now. Like if I get with this woman, 
tonight, if I sleep with her, whatever, or I start texting her, there's no way I'm giving that up. Not in the position that I was in. I was like, I know that I would be addicted to that woman. Like, if you, if you fuck a woman like that, there's no way you're not coming back. There's no way you're not coming back. If she texts you or sends you a picture and she's like, you know, you want this again tonight, whatever. I, I, I doubt she'd say it like that, right? But, you know, she says it in like a sexier manner or sends you a picture of her in lingerie, like, what are you up to tonight? 99.9% of the time, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm coming over. And then it becomes, oh, she's actually quite nice. Oh, we actually get on really well. Oh, I like the feeling of this relationship and what she's doing in the relationship, i.e. sex, whatever. And then next thing you know, you're in a relationship and then you're married, then you're having kids. You just go down this route, okay? Beauty, everything. I've told you guys this before. Everything's a great idea when women are involved and everything's a fucking fantastic idea when beautiful women are involved. And I wanted to avoid all that. And that is why I've kind of gone for this like little gap of like, okay, two years to really just focus on one thing and one thing only, or two things, gym, business, gym, business, gym, business. I'm, I'm, I'm in a scenario where I have time to do it now. I don't have a nine to five job. I can focus all my money and time into one thing. That's what I want to do, okay? So fair enough. And I've got women that are like sixes and sevens coming up to me in the gym or like following me around the gym okay it's not the same cocky like you're on a machine she's there she sits opposite she does one rep on one machine you move she moves you're like okay it's a bit sus you might not be but this is a little bit sus and in the past I would have been like yeah I'll sleep with this woman but now I've got these like really high fucking standards and guys believe me like I said I've got I'm got I'm trying to go like two years without women I'm so horny all the time. Like I'm on my supplements, I'm in the gym, I haven't drank alcohol, I'm sleeping well, I'm lifting heavy weights. My testosterone is up in the thousands, easy. It's gotta be about a thousand. It was like 900 when I had it tested a few years ago. It's gotta be up in the thousands, like 1,000, 1,100. I feel like I'm making great gains. My supplement has like maca, ashwagandha, tonka ali, iodine, DHEA, like trust me, I'm... I'm ready, <laughs> put it that way, I'm ready to blow, okay, put it that way, um, and I, I'm there in the gym, and I've got these women, like, these women, like, maybe coming up to me, or messaging me, like, sometimes they DM me, whatever, they find your profile, because uh, you, maybe you've been tagged in the gym, or I've done a video, or something like that, whatnot, or they ask somebody who's that, it's a small town, they, they figure out who you are, but I, it came to my head the other day, I was like, yeah, I'm not, lowering my standards because I was really tempted I was like, I'm not lowering my standards just for the sake of comfort or pleasure because I think it does two things I think it weakens your mindset because you're willing to settle and number two I think it distracts you from what you really want and like I said that story in that house party in Bristol I that woman would still be beautiful today like if I had got with that woman you know, I would have hit the fucking jackpot. She was absolutely stunning, but I probably wouldn't have accomplished all my other goals. And it's almost like you've got to be very, very fucking careful what you're, what you're going for in life, okay? If you think you can go higher, if you think that you're worth more, keep going. Because I've seen guys, like especially friends of mine on nights out, where it's like, I've got these two girls, we could go back and fuck them right now. And I'm like, okay, if it's on a plate, you know, I've got time, whatever, what do they look like, who are they? I want to, you know, it's like eating meat. I want to know where it came from. I want to know who, you know, like the butcher. I want to know the farm. Like, what do they do to the animals? You know, it'd be like that sort of vibe, okay, tracking things back. Uh, which, something linked to that will be in a crypto video I'm doing soon. How to benefit crypto off the pandemic. Like, how to, you know, which cryptos are going to benefit most from the pandemic. I'll do the video soon. But it's the same with the woman. I want to know who she is. I want to know who she slept with. What's her body count, so to speak. Like, I don't want to know the exact number, but is she the village bike? You know, that sort of thing. And what does she look like? And I've had friends be like, here she is. And I'm like, oh, no. Like, I don't want to, like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not the best looking guy in the world. But I have a standard that I don't want to go below. And if this girl's like a four and my mate's like, oh, any holes of gold is fine. Don't worry. Let's go for it. Oh, it's only one night. They always find it strange that I'm like, no, I don't want to. And um, like I said, the reason being is those two things. I don't want to train my brain to get in that weak, comfortable mindset where it's like, uh, you know, I can't get what I want right now. I can't get the nines and tens right now on demand. They're not chasing me. 
I'd have to put in a ton of work, which I'm not willing to do right now. And I'm not sure if I could get them right now anyway. You've got to be very elite to get to that level, okay? And I'm not actively trying to wear nice clothes and buy assets and attract women like this right now. So because I'm not at that level, I'm just not going to settle. I'm not going to settle for the sake of comfort. I want to keep my standards high, you know? And that was a conclusion I came to the other day. And I thought it was a very good topic to talk about. And it's the same in life. I always tell you guys about this with everything else that you do. If you see, if, if you, if you get to like, let's say 29 and you're panicking, oh, I don't have a mortgage yet or my friends have a mortgage. And then you go and find a house that's like 200K, that's not really the house you want. You think it sucks, but you just want to get on the property ladder and be at the same level as everyone else. And you go and buy it and you go, oh, thank God, I feel comfortable now. I'm not behind everyone else. That's a weak mindset, man. That's a weak mindset. You've just settled. You've just really, you've settled for comfort over your high level of goals instead of holding out and waiting and going, I trust in the process. I'm going to push it to the top. I'm going to, the house I actually want is 800,000. I'm going to go for that and I'm not going to settle until I get there. I'm going to make the sacrifices and go, like a video I made before, go from nothing to everything rather than going better house, better house better house, better house, because that's how you lose money very quickly, okay, you know, like better car, better car, better car, that's like 50, 60, 100 grand, like before you know you are, you're like 300k down on cars, if you just go from the bottom, from nothing, and then you make like a fuck ton of money, now you can afford your best possible thing that you wanted, I just think it's a much better strategy, because you're buying once instead of eight fucking times to get there, the stepping stone strategy doesn't quite work, well, it's the exact same concept as me at the gym with these girls. Like, you don't want to settle on these assets. You don't want to say, oh, I'll just go and buy a car now because then at least I can say to people I've got a car. At least then girls will be interested with me because it's kind of base level acceptance. Fuck that. you got to go from the bottom to the top, okay? Whatever your standard is. It's almost like, here's a perfect example. It's the same with food and diet. If I'm out somewhere... And, and people are like, you hungry? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm starving. Okay, what have they got? Oh, they just do burgers. And I'm like, well, it doesn't really match my diet. What else have they got? Oh, well, they've got some more shit food. They've got hot dogs. Like, eh, it doesn't really match my diet. And they're like, well, what are you going to eat then? My response is nothing. I'll wait. I would rather eat nothing than not have the high quality food that I'm used to eating. I would rather live in a shed with Wi-Fi because that's all I need than live in an average house just to make everyone else around me think I'm doing well, you know, because I just don't think it, I just don't think it really pays off. I would rather go without sex and be more dedicated to my business and my gym and just laser fucking focused than to drop my standards to five, sixes and sevens just to bust a nut for the night, just to go, oh, that felt better. Do you see what I mean, guys? Like, I just want to always keep those standards high and... You know, some like some of these sevens that I'm I'm seeing, like they're they're nice. They're really attractive. They're nice people. They're really attractive. They'd be fun to be around. Whatever. I'm not looking for relationship, marriage, kids, or whatever with these women. It would be purely for pleasure. And like I said, I'm not willing to drop my standards to a certain level just for pleasure and comfort. It just seems weak to me. It seems it doesn't seem authentic. Number one, which I don't like. I'm just quite real in that sense. I like to be genuine. But number two, I just I just think it breeds a weak mindset of, I'll take this now because I can't get this right now. I don't like that. I'd rather go with nothing until I can get to the level where I actually, what's the way I can describe this? The level where I can actually feel proud about myself. It's like if you're in the gym, right, and you're doing three sets of 10, and on your last set of three, you know, your, your third set, you get to nine reps and you're aching and you're tired and you're like, nah, nobody will know if I've done 10 or not. And you put it down. You've cheated yourself, okay? Nobody knows. Nobody knows, but you know. And I feel like little things like that weaken you. They kind of make you go, who the fuck am I? You start questioning yourself. You don't believe in yourself. You just, it just weakens your mindset and lets you know that in the future, you can continue doing stuff like that. You can cop out. You can, you can lower your standards. You can have less. Do you know what I mean? Like less is okay, just, ah, it's, all, it's all right, I'll just settle for less, like, I don't like that, and it's the same with a woman, like, if I was having sex with, like, a six or a seven for the sake of just busting a nut, like I said, or because I'm like, 
oh, I just need somebody to hold, or, uh, you know, that sort of vibe that guys were getting in lockdown or whatever when they're lonely. I'd be doing it and I'd be like, you're a fucking loser, man. Like, you don't even want this woman. You're just doing it for the sake of comfort because you feel lonely or you feel, oh, I just need someone to touch, you know. I just feel, I wonder if women still like me. Like, just fucking grin it. Just stick it out. Just clench your fist in your jaw and just get on with life. Just be like, I'm going to reach the top. I know what I really want. Because then when you do reach that reward, when you do actually get the house you want, the car you want, the woman you want, when you finally complete that last set and you're like, boom, that's like killing me, but I just slammed it down. You get like a boost. It's weird. I, I guess you guys will probably understand what I'm talking about. I've never really talked about this to anybody else, but you guys will probably relate quite well. But you feel good about yourself. You like, I always quote that Drake line, you know it's real when you are who you think you are. It's that. That's what it is. You tap into that fucking mode or it's like, I knew I was at that level. I knew I could attract women that look like that. I knew I could... And that's not looking for female approval. It's just knowing that you're at a fucking level where, you know, that's that's available to you. I knew I could get that house that I always wanted. I knew I could be in that car that I always wanted. I knew I could finish that third set because I'm a fucking monster. And now I know, even when I'm in pain and I really don't want to do something, I made it through. That's what it is. I made it through. I am who I thought I was. And I feel like that just rewires your fucking brain. It just tunes you up. And next time something like that comes along, you're stronger, you're better, you know how to deal with it. You keep striving for more. You you look higher and further into the future. Whereas I think when you keep settling, you keep lowering your standards, you keep looking down at the floor and eventually you're looking down and close. If that gives you like kind of reference, like here and then there. You know, it's kind of like a vision thing, like what you're looking to accomplish in life. I feel like it just changes you. I see so many people who settle, 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 and it becomes a habit. They go lower and lower and lower because their brain says, oh, it's easier. It's like porn and masturbation. Oh, I feel horny. Oh, I can't be bothered to go to the gym and work off this energy. Oh, I can't get, the wo- I can't get sex off any woman. What shall I do? Oh, I'm going to watch porn and masturbate. It's a cheater's way out. It's weak. And it trains your brain to get used to doing that lowering your standards kind of shit. Oh, if I can't get a woman, I'll masturbate. If I can't get this, I'll get this. If I can't get the 10 that I actually really want, I'm going to settle for a four, marry her. Hey, it's guaranteed sex. Don't be like that, guys. Please don't lower your standards for comfort. That's the point of the video. I hope it really clicked. It's really it's really something I'm living by at the moment. And it gets tough. It gets tough. That's why I'm making the video. That's why it entered my mind the other day. Because there's some... You know, there's some scenarios that I'd like to cash in on. But I'm like, no, let's hold out. Let's hold out. Let's not weaken that mindset. Let's keep aiming as high as possible. You're going up that ladder fucking quickly. You know, sevens weren't accessible before. Now they're on demand and they're they're lining up. Not to sound cocky, just to give you guys fucking optimism about what happens if you do put that work in. And it's like, okay, when that becomes eights, nines, and eventually tens and whatever, and then when that eventually becomes buy whatever the fuck I want without having to worry and I can put everything in place and have my perfect life. It's like, yeah, you kept your standards high. You waded through the tough times. You trusted in the process. You trained your brain. You are who you think you are. You're real as fuck. It's a nice little stage to live by, guys. It's nice. When you, tr- when you can trust yourself, yeah, that's nice. When you trust and believe in yourself, that's where I want to get to, okay? And I, look, I believe I'm already there. I know where I'm headed, but... When you actually tick all those boxes and you say, fair play, kid, you stuck in there and you finally figured it all out. And now you've got, you went from nothing to everything. Yeah, that's, that's something that I want to achieve. If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement and male advantage ebook, all links are in the bio.